dream streamlink. Yeah. No, no, you're not. What? No, 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 you're not talking to Sir Arthur Green Streamlink. I am Sir Arthur Street Streamlink. You were thinking of Sir Arthur Green Streamlink. I am Street Streamlink. The uh, T is silent, as in Fox. <laughs> you're obviously confusing me with someone else. Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. And that's quite all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I see. Um, Sir Arthur, I would like to ask you a question uh, about your, your very unique restaurant that you have here, the, the Frog and Peach. Well, this seems like the ideal opportunity, really, doesn't it? What with me being here and uh, you being there, wonderful opportunity, wonderful. Yes. Seize it. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, I will, I will, Sir Arthur. Um, can you tell us, tell us, please, uh, how did the idea for the Frog and Peach first come to you? The idea for the uh, Frog and Peach came to me while I was in the bath. <laughs> Quite a lot of things come to me while I'm in the bath. Yeah. But on this particular occasion, I was thinking to myself, where can a young couple go? Not too much money, feeling a bit hungry, feeling a bit peckish. Where can a young couple go and get a great big frog <laughs> and, and a fine juicy peach? And so the answer came to me. Nowhere. And it was on this premise that I founded the restaurant. <laughs> on, on these very premises? On these very premises I founded the Frog and Peach. <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> would, would you tell us, tell us, Sir Arthur, how, how long ago was this? Gosh, that's a tricky one. Certainly within living memory. Oh, George. Uh, I think it was shortly after World War II. Oh. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. Ghastly yes. business. Ghastly. Yeah. Yes. I was against the whole thing, you know. Well, I think we all were. Yes, but I wrote a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, getting back to the Frog and Peach, can you tell us a little bit about how business has been? Well, I think I can answer that question in two parts. Business hasn't been, and there hasn't been any business. Oh. It's been rather a lean time for us for the last 65 years up at the old F and P. <laughs> Yes, well, Sir Arthur, don't you feel you are at somewhat of a disadvantage being located here in a bog in the middle of the Yorkshire Moors? <laughs> Do you know, I think the word disadvantage is awfully well chosen here. But at the time I thought, rightly or wrongly, possibly both, that what this country was crying out for was a restaurant without a parking problem. And here in the heart of the Yorkshire bog, there is no problem parking the car. Quite, quite. A little trouble extracting it. <laughs> but the parking's a joy. <laughs> yes. I see, I see. Don't, don't you also feel, though, Sir Arthur, that you are at somewhat of a disadvantage with regards to the menu? Have you seen it? Very briefly. That's probably the best way to see it. <laughs> the problem is, the, the problem is it's so limited. You see, there are only two things on the menu. First on the menu is frog a la pêche. For frog a la pêche, a waiter brings a big frog to your table, covered in boiling Cointreau, with a large peach stuffed in its mouth. It's quite the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> the only other thing on the menu is even worse. Pesh a frog. <laughs> For pesh a frog, a large peach is brought to your table by the waiter, also covered in boiling quantro. The waiter? Quite frequently, yes, quite frequently the waiter is covered in boiling quantro. But the policy, the policy is to aim the quantro at the peach. Yes, quite. That is the policy. Quite. Of course. The peach is then sliced open to reveal 300 black squiggling tadpoles. Uh. It is the most nauseating thing I've ever seen in my life. Which oh, enough to put you off your food. Yes. Which well, is a good thing, considering what the food is like. Quite. Quite. Sir Arthur, I would say that the whole venture seems to have been somewhat disastrous. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Catastrophic? Yes, yes, catastrophic. I think that's a better word. I think it's fair to say that the whole venture of the Frog and Peach has been a complete catastrophe and one gigantic mistake. See, do you feel at least, though, that you have learned from your mistakes? Yes, certainly I've learned from my mistake, and I am certain I could repeat them all again. Oh, jolly good, jolly good. Thank you. Sir Arthur Greenstreet. Greenstreet. Oh, yes. Yes, quite. quite. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.